What do you do for a living? I'm an English teacher. IT security. I'm a student, I'm living here and it's my small business. We're doing phone case workshop. Waitress. How much money you make per month? Oh, a lot. 2,700. And how do you invest your money if I ask this question? Probably now we just reinvest all the profit we make yeah. into stocking more. Literally, I don't have money to invest. I'm also investing 50 euros per month. For what? In like 30 years, there's going to be a profit. Scam loading. But how do you spend your money? Mostly uh, doctors. <laughs> Going out. Uh -huh. Dating? I don't do dating. Why no? No. It's not for me. Do you have any plan to start a business in the future? So moving away from Lebanon, it literally broke me. Matcha kind of thing, matcha tea, matcha yeah. coffee store, yeah. or bubble tea. Hey, welcome and welcome back to my channel again. Today I'm on the street interviewing people, and especially Gen Z people. What do they do for a living? How do they invest their money or spend splurge? You know, it's been a while. I'm not interviewing them, but today I decided to start and continue that series again. It's important to know how they are living, how they are managing their money. Today's video sponsor is you as always and also Valex Property. If you are thinking to sell or buy properties in Malta, we can help you out. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. Let's go to interview them. Your name, age and where are you from? Uh, I'm Jane, I'm from Vietnam. Oh, Vietnam. What do you do for a living? I'm a student, I'm living here and it's my small business. We're doing phone case workshop. Uh, oh, yes. you have a business here? Just a small one. Just a small, yeah. in what scale? So basically, we're going to let our customers to do their own phone case. Mm -hmm. And maybe if they don't have time, yes, they can ask me to customize their phone case as well. Oh, that's great business. I have never seen anyone doing it in Malta. Yeah, yeah You actually, are the first one? Yeah, I think so. So we have to promote your business? Yeah. Uh, shout out your name. Uh, we oddly craft from Malta. What's that? Oddly craft. Oddly. Okay. Wait, uh, let me show the Instagram. Sure, 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 sure. We will put it. Is that okay for filming? No, don't worry. I will take it out. Uh, I will put it on the video. Don't worry. She has more followers than me, by the way. <laughs> so, why did you decide for starting your own business rather than going to work for companies? Basically, uh, this is one of the kind of workshop entertainment in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And I, I've been there last year and I really love it. Uh -huh. That's why I like, okay, why not? What is your next goal after selling this one? Let's say that you sold and you made good pro profit out of it. And what will you do with your money? Uh, I'm going to try to expand it though. Expand? Yeah, like like make something is really serious. This is not actually not serious. Because you see it's the... Don't underestimate okay, your okay, business. Okay. But I mean, it's not some... It's serious, but it's yeah. kind of small now. And if I have more money, probably more in invested mm -hmm. on this. How, how, how will make it bigger? A spay or I just open my own coffee shop or boba tea somewhere. You opened? I I mean... you uh, No, no, no. What I mean, like you say that at the moment you are small, but yeah. how we can do it bigger? Like... Do you have a vision? Try to, yeah, yeah, try to so open. And, okay, let let's, her, let, let's, okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Go ahead. So I think to expand it, we're just gathering like more awareness from people, and then we can bring them to like hosting a home or cafe workshop. Uh -huh. Or later on, if we kind of open like a bubble tea matching with like workshop kind of. Thing. Stay away from bubble tea because everyone is doing it and no. there are a lot of bubble tea ideas oh, but you have matcha. unique. Matcha. I really love matcha. If it is cold one, I would definitely be your customer. <laughs> matcha. Yeah, the cold oh one. My god. Oh my god. Yeah. I, I gotta learn how to make a lot of matcha recipes. Okay. So you, how do you know each other? So we're cousins. Yeah, yeah. You are cousins? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. So you came here together? Yeah. Yes. And uh, who is the behind this idea us so yeah we you, you two together Hello. listen together. come here come here this is going to be interesting both of you come here we are selling interesting stuff here we are not selling product we are selling skills here come and come and join us come here come here come come to the stage come to the stage you girls listen it will blow up on the channel and for Malta yo girls come and custom your phone case this is what we are doing here so we have to make like, this awareness. People should be aware of your business, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
So, what is your vision for expanding this business and also to scale it up? How you can do it? Okay, so what we want to do, we just started like one and a half month from now, mm -hmm. and we start running social media for it because we know that Malta needs like more kind of fun activities. And now we just spread it out here to get people working around. They see us and we grow our Instagram. Mm -hmm. And once we scale bigger, we're gonna come like letting booking for like coffee collaboration okay. or like private birthday party, okay. or even like decorating our home into a workshop where we can host more people and then having more space, more time for them to chill out. That's great and we have some investors on our channel also and the business owners also. The last time we interviewed Suave, she would help us. Suave, get in contact with me. We have great potential here. We have to learn how to scale up business and also collaborate with the event planning or whatever. Sounds yeah. good because she has a business. We want to do yeah. team buildings activities as well. Mm -hmm. So You are active on TikTok. Uh, yeah. Bit. Uh, no TikTok. Yeah, we, I, I, we did. We did have a page, but uh -huh. we just we post in, we post video there, mm -hmm. and I don't know because kind of haven't grow it much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we mainly, mainly on Instagram. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. so mainly people, on Instagram. Yeah, so that people can contact us, like you know, DM, so mm -hmm. that we can easily because TikTok you cannot DM, right? But you can bring customers to your yeah, Instagram. Exactly. Yeah. What stops you for not doing it? We TikTok don't have time to do yeah. the video. Yeah. You don't have time to make video. Yeah, we need to balance things, yeah. so they're still studying yeah, and I'm still going to work as well, so uh -huh. we so, need yeah. more time. How do you invest your money? Probably now, we just reinvest all the profit we make yeah. into stocking more. Wow. And we don't really spend much, mm -hmm. yeah. to be honest, well, it's just like all re reinvest yeah. mm -hmm. until we get to the state that we know we want to expand it into another kind of workshop or another kind of like matcha kind of thing, mm -hmm. matcha tea, matcha yeah. coffee store yeah. or bubble tea. So. Yeah. These girls are sticking to the bubble tea business. <laughs> there is something going on. <laughs> No, 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 no. I mean, it's still a plan, so we're not sure about it so yet. Because but we, I mean, we're not really confident to making a coffee store. Uh -huh. Yeah. And there's not many bubble tea, like, here. over here. You, you, you're here for holiday? No, no, I live here. You live here? Yeah. You, you're from Malta? No, no, I'm not from Malta. I came from Canada. Ah, you came from Canada. Okay, because basically, uh, do you see that there's a lot of coffee shop here? I don't think that I can uh, beat them, but... Boba listen, yeah, yeah. listen, don't say like that, way. Be confident. Go to the shark tank, okay? <laughs> Do your best. Move around. Doesn't matter. Listen, there are a lot of English language teachers, yes? yes, yes. There are a lot in Malta, uh -huh. yeah? But it doesn't mean that if you are an English teacher, you cannot succeed because there are a lot of English teachers, so I have to find something else. No, you have to beat them. You have to do I mean, something different with your own way. Playing on the thing that our disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, if, you know, if you want like, to know, like Vietnamese, we have a lot of like great bubble kind of tea uh -huh. and with different top toppings. And I mean, we don't want to play like disadvantage kind of thing. We want to make sure that the product brought here uh -huh. would like something that we like to try to taste every day and also something we know that we can nail it mm -hmm. so like that's the idea boba, you know it's highlighted is with boba okay. do you see like some people they like i never tried boba in my life and you but know they, what they all, they, they all know how coffee tastes like no <laughs> I, th I think yes <laughs> yes so and that's why. also because we host a lot of private workshop we uh -huh. can introduce our like bubble tea for them to like taste testing and gathering like feedback and build like a small community first so trying around matcha and bubble tea to see what people like and we then invest our money into the one that mm -hmm. is taken so wow we have a plan <laughs> yeah yeah it's good that you have a plan let's do like that way i will ask a question if you have a possibility to learn this business how to scale up in a different range let's say that these days this month you make um, I don't know thousand or five hundred or whatever but if you know something that you can make it double or triple or you make like 5k per month would you go to university to learn business skills or you would pay someone to mentor you oh my god I got the answer already I keep this in mind for so long. I know, going for the mentor. 
definitely. Why? Honestly. Because, I mean, the real life um, experience is different. Mm -hmm. And the mentor is like a shortcut, to be honest. Like, they get there already and they know what to do already and they've been there. And it's like, you have to wait for four years, like three to four years with all the money on a time span on. The university, why don't use that? to invest in like a shortcut and the, the rest of the money to like actually build the business. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's taken my mind for so long already, but that's just like kind of controversial, controversial opinion. So I don't want to spread it out to everyone, but it's just my own opinion. Yeah, yeah that's great, that's great. So these girls, uh, they, they were born as an entrepreneur. They have vision, they have already mindset how to, how to escape from the matrix how to be in the shark tank yeah it's great and i promise i promise for everyone we will be getting in touch with investors and some mentors also how to collaborate and how to make if you want to see the next process comment below people will also get in touch with you they will get your social media as well we will sit and talk about it and if you are ready to make it and if you have that vision to talk with someone who already succeeded in that business, uh -huh. we will work it out. Sounds good. That's, that's like, I mean, this is such an opportunity for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it a lot. So thank you so much. That's great. So guys, follow these brilliant cousins. They are making their own way, especially they moved out from Vietnam, coming to Europe, making their own business. Man, this is another level. So we trust in you. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to show some stuff what they have here. This is custom made. Can you believe? Amazing. Wow. They are doing it here. Listen, everyone should buy this one. I'm going to sell this one. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Raise your voice. Everyone should know about this product. This is the product awareness. <laughs> Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? Okay, so my name is Natalie. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Slovakia. Hi, so you are studying or graduated? I am still studying at the university, but right now I'm doing my internship here in Malta. So. What's your field? Tourism. So what do you want to do in the future with that degree? Uh, yeah. Don't tell me you have no clue. I I don't I don't really have a clue. So that's why I'm here and that's why I want to like learn what I want to do. Right. I'm trying new jobs every day. Like not every day, but like every summer. Uh -huh. I try something new. So. So what did you try this summer? <laughs> yeah, I was a wait waitress. Uh -huh. So that is a part of tourism industry. So you started from the bottom line to learn how to go up. Yeah. And, and what is your goal in the app? I want to like be more like events oriented so maybe like organizing something planning an events or like festivals and stuff like that yeah but in your internship how much money you make per month oh a lot really yeah actually wow. actually that's why i chose it because mm -hmm. it was like a lot of money for me like mm -hmm. and give us some number okay like 900 900 per yeah. month yeah. yeah okay and the tips and everything included oh, 900 mm, it's like there are not really tips, but like mm -hmm. for upselling, there is like some bonuses. Yeah, right. that's yeah. good. So what are you doing with that money? Um, mostly spending it on food and um, rent and mm, parties. Parties? Yeah. A little bit. How many times do you go for partying per week? Just once per week. <laughs> you catch it? <laughs> <laughs> Just once per week. Okay, so you have 900 plus something and you are spending only not investing uh i'm also investing 50 euros per month for what um yeah it's like i don't really know because my friend recommended me to do this and it's like scam loading go ahead yeah it's it should be something like the papers gold and yeah papers gold and something and what else like, like maybe like the the properties yeah I don't know it's like a it's it's a bonds package. yeah maybe but you don't know how your friend is trading <laughs> your money no but, but I know that it's certified I know that it's like good to do that so and who is he or she hmm? who is he or she uh, she's working for this company so okay and are you sure that your money is in a safe place 
Yeah, actually, like, I know that it's okay. safe. I know. Okay. Let's say that per month you are investing 50 euro and how much you are getting ROI? In like 30 years, mm -hmm. there's going to be a profit from right. it. In 30 years? Yeah, I'm waiting. That's great investment strategy. We don't know what it about, but even she doesn't have a clue what her friend is doing with that. But I hope you will not get scammed. No, no, it's not a scam because I know it's it's real. I know. Yeah, we believe in you. Do you have any business plan in the future? What do you want to do? No, not really. I mean, I'm still young, right? So. So, so what? You are still young, and it's not the right time to start. Mm, maybe yeah I need to like educate myself self more about it right. because as you can see I don't know a lot about investments so that why that's why I need to like you know get get the knowledge mm -hmm. and how you can get knowledge from the school not really the school doesn't teach us how to invest right. so, so you are learning from your friends family members something like that yeah yeah or right. like internet but also I don't know what to believe and mm -hmm. do you want to be a famous influencer on social media no no, no I don't want to be that famous mm -hmm. why no I want to have my privacy definitely so yeah that's great for people from Slovakia if they want to come to Malta what advice you would give to them um, so it's it's really interesting this place I had a lot of culture shocks but it's really different in a way that it's not a usual destination for tourists it's more like history but also yeah the culture is like really mixed so come here and see yourself I guess yeah. that's great advice thank you very much good luck your name age and where are you from uh, my name is Sofia. I'm from Russia and I'm 29. Right. What do you do for work? Uh, IT security. You are an engineer or? Uh, kind of, yes. Okay. For how long you are in the industry? Uh, it's my fourth year and I also have a master degree in this field. So. Right. And you live and work in Malta? Yes. How long? Uh, my seven month i think wow that's great and being in your position as a it security person how much can we make per year it depends uh, and to be honest i never really talk about this to people so i don't talk know. to camera not to people <laughs> what range uh, you are at i'm not i don't think i can uh, you cannot that. disclose yes okay that is a secret over six figure income that's why we cannot share that kind of information i understand but how do you invest your money to be honest i don't <laughs> at the moment because uh, i just came here i still have to buy some stuff figure out things so mm -hmm. i don't really save a lot of money now no, not saving investing uh, and not n neither <laughs> okay. but how do you spend your money for now uh mostly uh doctors <laughs> clothes doctors uh, yes <laughs> what do you mean yeah i have some problems so i had to waste my money on that uh also what else traveling do you have any plan to start a business in the future no i don't think so i'm not that kind of person no you want to keep working in a company and retire from there i think so yes mm -hmm. if you have hundred thousand bucks on a side what would you do with that money um, maybe it would be a good idea to start some business but I'm not good at it so I have no idea which kind of business but uh, if I talk about my dreams it would be something like a coffee shop or s something like that okay. do you know how to make coffee uh, just for myself no I'm not <laughs> an expert I hope one day you will have some investments or you will work for having that investment to start your own business. Imagine that you have already some funds, you are going to start your coffee shop. How would you name it? Oh, I never thought of it. I have zero aid. Okay. <laughs> That's also a good decision or maybe no. People from Russia, if they want to come to Malta for living longer, what advice you would give to them? First of all, it's English, I think, because in Russia not many people speak good mm -hmm. English. Uh, 
and also it depends on how they want to come here. For example, if it's job, then of course you need to become a better specialist, get more experience, so you get an offer. So Thank you very much. Good to talk to you. Thank you. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? I'm Sara, I'm 29, and I'm from Lebanon. Hi, what do you do for a living? I'm an English teacher. In Malta? Yeah. Wow, that's great. For how long you are in Malta? Almost a year and a half now. Mm -hmm. And you want to stay here longer? I'm not sure. I don't right. know. Do you have any long-term plan? No. Clueless. Okay. And how it is living clueless in your life? Perfect, actually. Uh -huh. It works well for you? Not bad, yeah. Right. So being in your position as a teacher, how much can we make per year? I'm not sure. It depends. You don't know how much you make? No. No way. How, how come? So I just live day by day. I don't calculate. I don't do the math. Okay, but if they don't pay you, you will still continue working? No, I don't think so. Okay, I've done volunteering before, uh -huh. so I could, but... Yeah, in but general. it means you have some numbers, what yeah. you signed for. Basically, a month, no taxes, or with taxes? Let's say with taxes with per taxes, year. Basic, per year, I don't know. Per okay, month, per month. It's like maybe 2,700. Okay, yeah. that's good. And how do you invest your money? If I ask this question, I'm sure you will not throw me to the sea. Literally, I don't have money to invest with. <laughs> I can feel it. You make, let's say, 2,400 okay. per month net, and you don't have money no. to invest. I don't think it's 2,400 net. After Let's say, taxes, it's like around like 1,900. Uh, 1, okay. Let's say 1,900. Uh, 1, and you, rent. you spend all of them? No, rent. Maybe 600 something. Uh -huh. Dating? Going out. Uh -huh. Dating? I don't do dating. Why no? No. It's not for me. <laughs> What's wrong? Yeah, I don't like dating. That's good. Decision. Yeah. Okay, so most of your money you are just spending, yes? Yeah, basically, okay. yes. Do you know in the future what you want to do? No. But no. I'm going to be an English teacher forever, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So is that a secure job for you? It is. Okay. And yeah. you don't want to start a business in the future? I don't think so. Maybe a small business, like from home. What could it be? Like something handmade. A maid? Yeah. What you can make? Is baking something or no. like a bracelet something? No, you think? it's like I I had this thing where uh, during COVID I learned how to crochet. Mm -hmm. So maybe that. Okay, that's good. But you don't sell it? I used to mm -hmm. in the past, not anymore because I don't have time anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You made good amount of money for yes, selling it? Yes, actually. It then, makes good money. It's better than teaching. Then why you don't want to make it? Uh, because I don't feel Malta is the vibe of crochet you know okay. why it you are thinking places because ah. I do blankets and stuff like that baby blankets okay but do you know that you can sell it online I do yeah 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 so what you what you can do basically open a Shopify account and sell over there mm -hmm. don't think like small places in Malta and diversify it or maybe think out of a box sell it online yeah why not maybe later not mm -hmm. now I feel like Moving to Malta, I spent a lot of money here and moving from away from my country because I used to live in Lebanon before and then I moved to Italy and then here. Mm -hmm. So moving away from Lebanon, it literally broke me because I put all my money there, uh, bought things related to crocheting and stuff like that, but I had to leave everything there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I, it's, a dif it's difficult to do it again, you know? Starting from zero yeah. is overwhelming you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. and it takes time, as so, an English teacher, of course. You want to stay here longer, that I means? Th I think so, yeah. I don't know how long, but I think I'm going to stay here for a while now, like maybe a year or two. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And people from Lebanon, if they consider for moving abroad, especially going to Italy or Malta, mm -hmm. what advice you would give to them? Just go, leave Lebanon. <laughs> No, stay actually, but I mean like, what advice? Don't lose hope. The first year is always the hardest. You feel lonely, you feel it's a new place. Just make good friends. Uh, do you have a good friends? Of course. Okay. I do. How did you make it? I love them. Say hi to them. Uh, through my work and my job. 
right? Yeah. Well, that's good. At least you have someone and you don't feel yeah, of alone course. yourself. Of course. Yeah. This was the most important part here mm -hmm. in Malta. Amazing. And, and by the way, it's yeah. so easy to make friends in Malta. I love it. Really? It's super easy to make friends okay. here. How do you make friends? Uh, for example, like my best friend met another friend through Bumble friends. And now we're best friends, so... Bumble is for dating or for finding friends? I think there are two uh, options, for dating and for friends. So uh -huh. you could choose whatever you want. I don't know, so another things we learned from the street. That's good. Yeah. Thank you very much for sharing this kind of information. You're welcome. Thank you very much for your interview as well. Thank it was you. good to talk to you. That's it basically. I'm definitely sure you enjoyed with this episode too. I know it's been a while. I'm not interviewing Gen Z people, but it is good to continue. You saw how many different perspectives we saw and we heard from them. There is no only one line. They have different mindset, different culture, different approach for money. And I'm sure you learned from them as well. Either good or bad way, it's up to you. As always, today's video sponsor is you and also Valex Property. Check out my property, check out my listing. And if you want to make your first purchase, I can be your direct contact. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.